that's um, two pounds altogether. Will you be paying separately? Uh, no, Sarah will pay for mine, won't you? What, you've already had your breakfast? So? So, what do you want all that for? Because I can. You're very lucky to have such a generous sister, baby. I am, aren't I? Oh, and I want two quid and all. What for? Our kids. Right, well, I've got a quid, that's it. Sarah, you've got to stop giving in to him. <laughs> what else is she going to do, go tell me ma'am? She won't, but I might, you blackmailing little muppet. Oh, Candy, stop it, there's no point. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Or oh, say hello to your boyfriend. I mean, who does your brother think he is? In the flaming mafia? Well, no, stop it. He's driving me mad. I'm skinny. So do you reckon Glenn's worth all this, then? Yes, I do. I really, really like him. And I can't wait to see him tonight. Yeah. So, you've got the buy of your dreams and a baby that needs its nappy changing. So you're still going to pretend that you're only the babysitter? Well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Well, what about Martin? What about Martin? Well, can he not take Bethany? See, there are advantages to divorce, aren't there? <laughs> Hello. You're just in time. I ain't got a curry. Oh, I can't stay. You what? Well, Candice's boyfriend's just dumped her and she's just really upset and she just needs someone to talk to. Oh, yeah. That's someone being you. Yeah, I know, but... Well, you know, she's just dead upset and, and I'll be back at ten at the latest. I've hardly seen you lately. I know, I'm sorry. We've hardly seen each other lately, have we? I know. I mean, I wouldn't if it wasn't Candice, but she's my best friend and she's so upset, she's just crying and... OK, all right, I get the point. You can go. But only if you promise me you'll get a taxi back. Of course I will. OK. Thanks very much. I'll Come here. This. OK. Oh, Hello. there you go. Mm. Oh, and by the way, we're at an Appies. OK, I'll sort some out. OK. Bye. See you later. I love you. I love you. <sighs> Look nice. Thank you. It's all right, this, isn't it? Us being on our own. Oh, yeah? What's that you're hiding? Oh, nothing. Yeah, you did. It was a baby photo of you, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should see the photos my mum's got of me. Big, goofy teeth and everything. Like a right muppet. So, anyway, have you got the video? Oh, yeah. But they like horror films. Well, um, I haven't really seen that many. Not scared, are you? It's all right. You can hide behind me. Hey, 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 come on, you. Time you were asleep. It's better. It's more scary with the lights down. Oh, I can't even look. <laughs> He's gonna get her. What's that? I don't know. Who is it? Oh, my God. What's going on here? Nothing. I'm afraid of putting my life out because I thought you had a... Burglars! Sorry, we're just watching a video. Yeah, well, I'm talking to her, not you. And who are you, anyway? Oh, here, Sarah. What? Well, you're going to look after her. You're just going to let her cry. Oh, come on, what's the matter? Are you going to look after your daughter? She's yours? Yes. Why, did she forget to tell you that? Martin, please! Or was she just lying? Because you're getting really good at that lately, aren't you, Sarah? Maybe I should go. Yes, maybe you should. So, perhaps you'd like to tell me what's been going on. All oh, that rubbish about Candice. About needing to be with her. I mean, I believed you. I even gave you the taxi money. There was nothing else I could do. I'm lying about your own baby. I just can't fathom you, Sarah. See, I knew you wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand what? I hate it. What? What do you hate? All this! Like, making stuff up just so I can have a life. I mean, all the girls at school, they can go out all the time. Well, you're a mother, Sarah. You can't be like that anymore. Do you think I don't know that? I mean, I come home from school just so I can see Bethany. I mean, I phone her up in my lunch break to make sure she's OK. And I spend half the yes, night I on with her. Yes, I know it's hard. You don't know the half of it, and none of you do. I just want it to be normal for a change and just go out like everybody else does. So you 
thought you'd lie about Bethany then. Well, you did, Sarah. You pretended she wasn't yours. No, I didn't. Oh, stop lying to me. Look at her, Sarah. She's your daughter. She relies on you for everything. You just stood there and denied her. Please, mind, don't tell my mum. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't promise anything now. Martin, please, if you tell my mum what I did, she'll never forgive me. Please.